Hi, I'm Rachel Siegelman. I am a new professor of chemical engineering and materials at UCSB. I was recently moved back to campus to be the new Edward N. Kramer Chair of Materials and Chemical Engineering. I'm returning to UCSB after having been a graduate student here in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I spent a decade or so on faculty at UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Labs. And I refer to this a lot like going somewhere new and exciting with Cliff Notes because a lot of things have changed on campus since I was last here. Um, when I got here in 1998, Ed Kramer had been here for maybe a year and I helped build his lab. And I was the first student to graduate from his group. And there are a handful of faculty who are still here from then, but there's been an enormous amount of growth on campus and the buildings and the faculty and the people, and it's really exciting. My great-grandmother was one of, I think, eight siblings, um, five of whom were chemists or chemical engineers. And um, my mother and both of her sisters and her brother were all chemists or chemical engineers. Um, and this wasn't really a pressure thing where I thought I had to do this growing up, but rather when I hit college and I thought I was going to be pre-med, I discovered I loved chemistry and I loved the problem-solving aspect of chemical engineering. And I liked the way the chemical engineering background got me to think molecularly about materials. So how I like to think is about how a polymer's um, molecular through mesoscopic structure affects its properties. And particularly making the right polymer to understand how the structure affects properties. And we're interested in a lot of properties right now, many of them energy related. So we have projects in thermoelectrics that convert heat to um, energy. We have some in just more traditional conducting polymers, ion conducting polymers, and even anti-fouling coatings for ships that help you prevent bringing invasive species across the Pacific.